I'm gonna bring up your next comedian. You guys are in for a treat. Trust me, give it up for Loco Pele. Yeah. Well, how's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. What a great crowd here at the Comedy Spot. Well, my name is Loco Pelli, and I'm a Phoenix native. We got any natives there? Yeah. Right. Well, that's all of us, I guess. Uh, there's only ten of us, so. Well, I remember when uh, Fountain Hills was just a sewer treatment plant with one big aerator. <laughs> And my mom, uh, she raised us right. Uh, we'd pack a lunch and take a special trip to a river if we heard there was water in it. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Well, uh, I've got a big problem. Uh, it's the heat. I'm a native, but the heat has got to me. Anybody tired of the heat? Uh, yeah. It's depressing. Yeah. I got so depressed the other night, I called the suicide hotline. And even that now has been outsourced to a Pakistani call center. <laughs> I told the guy, I'm depressed, I'm feeling suicidal. He got all excited, wanted to know if I could drive a truck. <laughs> That's my big problem. Uh, trying to get a date now. E-Harmony has officially classified me as retrosexual. <laughs> Means I'm straight, but I haven't had a date since the Bee Gees for a bit. <laughs> so look for me in the Desperado section now. Uh, and the other problem I have with my eyes. I can't really read everything. And the other night I had a big play of this new pasta for men. Testosterone. Has anybody <laughs> It's laced with Viagra. <laughs> I didn't know that. I ate a big plate I took off from Home Depot. <laughs> well, I learned an important lesson that day. Uh, you can you can come out of Home Depot packing wood. <laughs> you cannot go into Home Depot packing wood. <laughs> Uh, what do you got there, an exchange? <laughs> I said, no, I'm just excited about the big sale. She said, calm down. <laughs> she gave me a, uh, a catalog, talking about home delivery, but I got a date, and that was the important thing, because uh, that's what I've been looking for, a date. And But she's a younger girl, and I thought, you know, i got to update my image. i got to come up with some body jewelry, some really cool body jewelry. All the guys got body jewelry now, so I went and looked around, I didn't see anything that I liked, so I went home and made my own body jewelry. That's right, musical body jewelry. <laughs> the world's first chest ring. full bypass for the period. <laughs> My influence was Dr. Seuss on this. <laughs> but I had to uh, come up with something to impress my girl and uh, we had a great, went out on a great date and uh, we're ordering dinner, everything seemed fine and she orders an extra dinner for her imaginary friend. Oh. <laughs> when, you know, well I thought, you know, this isn't so bad, maybe we're talking about a threesome here. <laughs> So I went to her house and everything seemed normal, her living room seemed normal, and I played her song with my beautiful chest horn, and uh, <laughs> she said, let's take it to the bedroom. So wow, I was uh, just amazed. I went into the bedroom, then I saw, you know, now it's weird. There's teddy bears everywhere. There's huge teddy bears up along the ceiling. Down below that is medium-sized teddy bears. Under that is these little tiny beady-eyed teddy bears, and they're all staring at me. Well, uh, I asked her if she turned off the light, and she said, okay, and we had a wonderful night together, and in the morning, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear something. You know, some kind of post-game wrap-up, but it didn't come. So I had to ask her, baby, how was it? And she looked me right in the eye and said, you can have any prize off the bottom shelf. Sure, I 
was disappointed, but when I come to think of it, it's the one time I got anything out of a relationship besides a restraining order. So I thought I'd, uh, in honor of my Home Depot girl, I'm going to play the special song that I played for her that night just for you. And here it is. <laughs> 